In our last episode, we got a dashboard down to some milliseconds with flexible casting. But what if we need the same report data multiple times in request? I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today we'll eliminate duplicate cache hits with memoization. Let me show you a problem that happens more than you think. Let's say that we need to access our dashboard report multiple times. We're going to remove the benchmark final for now, and we might need it later on. Let's go ahead and add this in our routes file. I'm going to copy this from here again. It's an endpoint called test duplicate, and let's go and see what happens here. We have the service, the flexible cast service we built last episode, and then we have the dashboard report being called three times. Let's go now and visit test duplicates and see what happens in telescope. Let's go and check telescope. And we have 31 milliseconds up here. Let's go down in their cast operations. You'll notice that its dashboard report call triggers multiple cast operations because it internally calls get top customers optimized. It calls the get daily breakdown optimized and get average orders per customer we had so far. With flexible cast, that's a lot of cast checks. The first call sets up all cast, but subsequent calls still have to check cast each time. That's multiple cast hits per dashboard call. Let's go back to our code. We're going to use something called cast memo, which solves this issue. It stores cast values in memory during the request, so you only hit cast once. Again, let's follow the same pattern and let's create a new service. And this is going to be called memo is service. We will use the flexible cast service we already have in this case. So let's add a constructor and let's pass flexible cast service. Let's add it up here as well so we can utilize it. Perfect. Let's implement the function called dashboard report. So dashboard report. We have the period, a string. Again, let's default that to month and this is an array. We will need a key for our class. We're going to name this memo key and this is going to be memo dashboard and they will use periods and let's return and use cast facade again let's import that before anything else and this time instead of flexible we're going to use the memo function let's remember we'll use the memo key then we also pass 360 seconds and let's also pass a callback as well inside the callback what we will return is this flexible cast service, we will call the dashboard report and pass the period as a parameter. By using memo at the top level, we avoid all the other line cast checks on subsequent calls. The first call goes through all the flexible cast logic, but after that, we get the entire report in memory. Let's add our memoist service to the controller. So let's go back to dashboard controller. And here we also add a new one called memoist. And let's import memoist cast service. Let's default now to memoist instead of cast. And again, let's go back to our routes file. Instead of testing the duplicates here, let's rename this to test memo duplicate instead. And we'll use the memoist cast service. Let's go back to our browser and visit our dashboard. Let's refresh. Let's go back to telescope request. Let's see the top request. This is what we have. Scroll down and you'll see now that we only have one cast hit. It has to do with a memo dashboard month. So the first call still triggers all the flexible cast operations for the sub methods, but the second and the third call, you know, we have nothing here. So they get the entire report from memory. So with flexible cast, every call checks all those cast keys, but with memoization, only the first call does. The rest are instant. Don't forget that when you update cache, memo automatically clears its memory. And this ensures you always get consistent data. Look how far we've come from almost a second down to less than 20 milliseconds with indexes, with flexible caching, with memoization to avoid duplicate calls in our cache. In the next episode, we'll do smart cache invalidation to keep our super fast cache fresh. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button Subscribe to Laravel News and also hit this hype button in your mobile app. See you in the next one.